Hi, and welcome to Clarity Working with Reports video. I'm Katherine Ellis, a Product Manager with Clarity. Project status reporting is one of the most critical components of effective project management. By reporting project status periodically, you can ensure that your team stay focused on their work and also ensure the success of projects throughout the entire project lifecycle. Before you start creating a status report, ensure you have the relevant access rights and clarity. The Project Edit and Status Report access rights help you create and edit reports. Let us log into Clarity and start creating the status report for an existing project. The project already has existing tasks, resources, and financial plans. Resources have started working on tasks and submitted timesheets. Let's open the status module. We typically start by entering the overall status of the project. The status is derived from the schedule status, scope status, and cost and effort status. Let's start by specifying the schedule status of the project. It indicates if the project schedule is on track, has a minor variance, or a significant variance from the original schedule. Next, we can specify if the scope of the project has changed. Project managers use scope status to indicate if the project scope is on track, has a minor variance, or a significant variance from the original scope. We can now specify the cost and effort status to indicate if the effort and budget amount is consumed for the project. The overall status of the project is updated based on your entries. Did you notice how the colors changed based on the values you specified in the status report? This is defined in the display mapping of the overall status attribute. You can request your administrator to open the status report object and edit the overall status attribute to change the colors. Let's now review the effort metrics and cost metrics to quickly understand the total effort and budget details associated with the project. This helps project managers review if the project can be completed on time and on budget. Let's enter a quick summary that describes the current state of the project and highlight the key accomplishments of the team. We can also add tasks that are due for the next two weeks. This will help stakeholders understand the deliverables expected in the near future. Many project managers like to customize the status report to include additional information. Let us customize the report to show the tasks that have been completed and the risks associated with the projects. Let us navigate to the Risks module and add the Include in Status Reporting field to the grid. Let us check this attribute. Let us go back to the status module and add various risk attributes, such as probability and description, to the status report. There are occasions when you may want to create and add a custom attribute to the status report. In this video, we will create and add a new attribute, key contributor to the project status. Open Classic PPM and open the Status Report object. Let's create a new attribute and give it a name and an ID. Let's go back to the Status module and refresh the page. Let's use the Configure option to add the Key Contributor attribute to the report. Let us arrange the tabs on the project status grid to ensure stakeholders can easily understand it. We are now ready to publish and share the report. The Reports tab shows all previously published status reports with final status and the current draft. 
Let's publish the current draft status report. You can download the status report PDF to share with the stakeholders. I am sure you can now use the status reports in Clarity to share progress and risks with stakeholders. Thank you for watching this video. For more information about this product, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page.